whispers in the morning of love and sleep and tight are rolling by like thunder now as I look in your eyes I hold on to your body and feel it true This is warm and tender, a love that I could not forsake, cause I'm your
in holy matrimony. This is an occasion of great celebration and reverence on which they come together before God and all of us to recognize and commemorate the love and dedication they share. It is wonderful to have family and friends here to join in their celebration, and Bob and Debbie would like to thank you all for being here and would like you to know that each of you were invited here as witness because you are special to them and they want to share the joy they feel this day with you. Loving God, we thank you for the joy and happiness that marks this occasion. We thank you for the many people who have gathered here tonight to witness their love and to celebrate their marriage. Most importantly, we thank you for your presence at this service now and your continued presence in the married life of Debbie and Bob for the rest of their shared lives. You're going to have to bear with me because this is a very emotional moment for me too. My little girl's getting married. <laughs> I remember when Margaret and I were told about Bob, this new guy in her life. All we knew was that he was a nice guy and he liked to dance. <laughs> She said that they met in a dance class at Kensington, which is a non-denominational church for those of you who are familiar with it. And in a way, that was kind of music to my ears because I thought that may be a way to get her back to church. And as it turns out, the next thing out of her mouth was, and you know what? We've been going to services at Kensington. So even though every time I told my kids if they were looking for a new person in their lives, they should try church, and I got, you know, the look. <laughs> it worked. It worked. The look didn't work. God does move in mysterious ways. He gave Debbie a love of music and dance, and that brought she and Bob into each other's lives, as well as back into his house. It doesn't seem possible that Debbie and Bob have been engaged almost four years. I think they've given it a trial <laughs> during which time they've had the opportunity to become more familiar with each other when not on company manners. In the time that they've spent together, they've experienced a variety of life's challenges that they were able to weather together. They feel that they have built the sturdy foundation for a lifelong relationship and are ready to bind themselves to one another for the rest of their lives. Marriage is a sacred despite the trucks out on the road. <laughs> Tonight, we observe the union of these two people with the respect that this occasion warrants. What we honor with reverence, however, we also celebrate with great joy. For married life, a shared life, is a tremendous blessing. My wife and I have been together 52 years, and I can tell you I know how to play the game. Yes, you <laughs> here. <laughs> Now as they embark on this journey together, they will be able to nurture a love that makes each of them better versions of themselves. Marriage is indeed the perfect garden from which to sow and harvest personal growth. To Bob and Debbie I say, you must continue to work together, to laugh together, not a problem for Bob. That was one of the things the kids told me. Wait till you hear this guy laugh. <laughs> We go to the show, and there's a funny line. The entire theater knows Bob's there. <laughs> so I don't worry about them laughing together. <laughs> Witness. <laughs> and most importantly, to love, to love together. You mustn't get caught up in worldly, worldly things that might draw you apart. And we all know what we're talking about with that. Instead, focus on your shared devotion to one another. As your relationship strengthens, you will find that you come to share a remarkable love, a love that is both abundantly given and freely accepted and exceedingly unique to the two of you. The joy you'll find as you pursue your shared lives should fuel you to face head-on challenges you will encounter continually. On your journeys together, keep your spouse in the space of highest priority in your heart. The love you share must be guarded and treasured and cherished. It is your most valuable treasure. And now at this time, my wife would like to come up and read something from the good book.
if I speak in the tongues of men or of angels, but do not have love, I am only a resounding gong or a clanging cymbal. If I have the gift of prophecy and can fathom all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have a faith that can move mountains, but do not have love, I am nothing. If I give all I possess to the poor and give over my body to hardship, that I may boast but do not have love, I gain nothing. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. When I was a child, I talked like a child. I thought like a child. I reasoned like a child. When I became a man, I put the ways of childhood behind me. For now we see only a reflection as in a mirror. Then we shall see face to face. Now I know in part, and I shall know fully, even as I am fully known. And now these three remain, faith, hope, and love. But the greatest of these is love. And now the serious part. Bob and Debbie have told me they've written their own vows that they like to recite to one another. So, Who's going to go first, guys? <laughs> Bob, where do I even begin? I remember when we first met, and I introduced myself to you and welcomed you to Connie's class. I was impressed that you came to a line dance class on your own. When the line dancing started, the class went one direction, and in your adorable Bob-like fashion, you went the other. <laughs> what started as a friendship soon blossomed into much more. You are so generous, kind, and funny. You have waited for me with infinite patience allowing me to reach this point where I can marry you with my heart wide open, no doubts and no hesitations. You have erased all of my fears and replaced them with your unwavering love. So now here we are on our wedding day, sharing our love with our family and friends. I vow to support you and I promise to respect you for the man that you are. I will always listen to you and be there for you. I have faith that no matter what life may have in store for us, we will face those challenges together. <laughs> to my American honey, Debbie, I am so very proud and blessed by the Lord to be marrying my best friend and my beautiful country girl. I'm truly honored that our God and I will always love you. I pray the Lord will allow me to be as humble and kind as you have been to me. And though I've been a real good man to you, I know you will make me a better man. I cross my heart to be a fighter for our love, marriage, and a better life for both of us. So please know, my pretty island girl, you, will, you are always on my mind and will always be able to make me a happy man with just a kiss. Good night. Finally, I love from this city boy to my small town girl. Don't stop believing that I will forever yours, forever yours, 
I am forever yours, faithfully. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Now for the important thing. You know, there are a couple of things you have to do besides tell each other what you feel. Robert, do you take Deborah to be your lawful wedded wife? Do you promise to love and cherish her in sickness and in health, for richer, for poorer, for better, for worse, and forsaking all others, keep yourself only unto her for so long as you both shall live? Deborah, do you take Robert to be your lawful wedded husband? Do you promise to love and cherish him in sickness and in health, for richer, for poorer, for better, for worse, and forsaking all others, keep only, keep yourself only unto him, for as long as you both shall live? Do you together promise in the presence of your friends and family that you will at all times and in all circumstances conduct yourselves toward one another as becomes husband and wife. <laughs> Do you together promise you will love, cherish, and respect one another throughout the years? Sure, got through that. <laughs> now the next thing we're going to deal with is the exchanging of the rings. The oldest reference to an engagement ring was in ancient Egypt where the circle of the band was to represent eternity and a never-ending cycle. The placement on the fourth finger of the left hand was specifically chosen by the ancient Egyptians for the vein that was believed to have run from this finger directly to the heart. In ancient Rome, the gift of a ring was the last in a series of betrothal gifts bestowed upon the bride by her husband-to-be. It was a symbol of his wealth and ability to care for his future bride, as well as a claim he placed on her. And those of us who were ever out trolling know you look first thing at the finger to see if they're available, right? <laughs> so Bob, I haven't given you the background of the ring. Would you repeat after me? Oh, we need the ring. <laughs> This ring is a perfect circle, Bob. Would you repeat that? This ring is a perfect circle. It has no beginning and no end. I give you this wedding ring to remind you of the love I have for you. To remind you of the love I have for you. The joy I experience when I'm around you. And the eternal commitment I am giving you. Think of me whenever you look upon it. Okay. Now, Debbie, repeat after me. This ring is a perfect circle. It has no beginning and no end. I give you this wedding ring to remind you of the love I have for you. The joy I experience when I'm around you. And the eternal commitment I am giving you. Think of me whenever you look upon it. yourselves one to the other by the pledge of your marriage vows and the exchange of your wedding rings. Your life is now one. To celebrate your new union, we'll be lighting the candles on the table to the side of us, the unity candles. As you light your separate candles, you honor your separate selves, your uniqueness, and your autonomy. Each individual candle 
represents the right of your being, your special talents, needs, visions, and gifts. All that makes you who you are, you honor with this flame. And then, as you blend your flames to light the third candle, you celebrate the power of separate lights to ignite a, to ignite a common flame of passion and commitment and to come together as one. When two souls are destined to find each other, their two streams of light flow together, and a single, brighter light goes forth from their united being. They do not lose their individuality, yet in marriage they are united in so close a bond that they become one. ceremony, you stood before all assembled as best, as best friends and partners. Through the poignant exchange of wedding vows, you are sealed together in the bonds of holy matrimony as wife and husband. You may have kissed many times before, but now your kiss is a demonstration of your perpetual love and commitment to each other. Your kiss is also a promise to stand together during the happy times and during times of adversity. May you experience great love, joy, and happiness as you walk through life together. May you also have the strength and perseverance to weather the storms that life may bring your way. In celebration of your love and commitment to one another, and by the authority vested in me by the Universal Life Church and the State of Michigan, I now officially pronounce you husband and wife. Bob, you may not kiss your bread. <laughs> This is not a rehearsal. This is your life. <laughs> Live it fully. Enjoy. Friends and family, I am now pleased to present to you Mr. and Mrs. Robert and Deborah Fluger. As the wedding party ends, 
please follow after them because they're coming through the front door to get your name, uh, table set assignments. Do we stop? Bob, get it. Talk to him, Debbie. Talk to him. Woo! Yeah. Oh, there's money.
Let's hear it for Bob and Debbie Cloutier. Awesome dance. Awesome. Since we got to be Let's live 